what's up you guys I thought I would come on here and just talk to you guys because a lot of things have been happening lately so um I think this is gonna go in like a whole separate vlog too because I think my London vlog just got finished so now we're starting hey now we're starting like the moving in process and um so they told us my car was gonna take like 60 days to get to England and we were supposed to have it like three weeks ago and then we were supposed to have it on like last Thursday. We were supposed to get it on Monday. Now it's Tuesday and they finally just called and said that my car is here and we can actually pick it up. And you guys don't know what a relief that is because I have been stuck in hotel rooms without a vehicle for like two months. I haven't drove in almost actually it's been like three months because I gave my car up mid-march I haven't drove in that long I haven't had independence like anytime we have to go somewhere it's when CJ gets off work like having one car sucks and I like it's been horrible but um I guess it's finally ready now so I'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna head to pick it up I'm so excited <laughs> guys does this remind you of the good times or does this remind you of the good times I feel like ever since I got my car which was only yesterday but I've driven in it like twice since then but I just feel like my seat is so high and even like now I feel like my head is barely in the frame so I have to figure out how to like lower back my seat but I played with the buttons on the side earlier and I couldn't figure it out but um, we're currently on the way to get my car inspected. As of right now, I am driving with no plates. And I need plates, obviously. And they have to do like this inspection before they give me plates. And another thing that's kind of weird about being in England is like in Japan, we drove on the left side of the road the same as they do here. But here, they do miles per hour, but still all their like liquids, like when you get gas, it's in liters, but everything is still miles per hour. And since my car is Japanese, the whole speedometer is in kilometers, and they don't have like the big numbers and then the little numbers for kilometers and miles per hour, they just have kilometers. So in my head, I'm trying to do the math to convert how many miles per hour are in each kilometer. And CJ told me it's like pretty much half. So if you're going, what it shows, like 80 kilometers, <laughs> you're going 40 miles per hour. Anyways, it's a lot to get used to. I probably really shouldn't even be vlogging like when I'm not used to driving out here, but we're going on a straight road right now. And yeah, we're actually coming to a roundabout. So it kind of needs my full attention. So I'm gonna put you guys away. probably knew we were in like that little apartment with the leather sofa and the red carpet well our lease actually ended with that place and we've been living in shambles for the past week it's just been like one room uh, no microwave we've been trying to figure things out and basically I just didn't even want to show you guys because I was in such a mood because we were like living on top of each other but we just got word that our house passed an inspection so we finally get the keys today i'm really stoked are you guys like super close up oh, sorry but yeah i'm really excited we're actually on the way to the agency now and we've waited like how long for this house babe About two months two months to move into this place and things have just getting like kept push kept getting pushed back and pushed back like something else happened something else happened like it was like never ending so I'm really excited that we finally get the keys today and yeah I will show you guys what it looks like when we get there yeah it's right here so different than how I remembered it. I didn't know the garage was right here. Are you serious? Yeah, I thought it was further back there. Wow. Go ahead. Look at all the keys we got. 
You guys, they were gonna give us six keys to the front door. A total of 23 keys total. A key for each window, each door, every door, like the garage door, the inside garage door, multiple copies, front door, six keys, like. I need one key, I'm gonna lose all of this. We all know this, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do an empty home tour. And we just got done inspecting the house and honestly, I'm pretty pissed because there is a bunch of scratches and discoloration and just like the walls are kind of like butchered they only repainted the hallway and then like all the crown molding in the house and all of the white detail is really scuffed and not white at all so i'm going to pick up like a gallon of white paint this weekend but um i will take you along for like my diys for the house but honestly like i'm really disappointed right now but okay so the front door is behind me and you kind of have like the space right here for like a seat and some coat hooks then you turn and this is the hallway first floor nice wood floor can i record the fan real quick because the fan doesn't work i don't care what you do and then in here is the kitchen obviously right here is a space for the fridge those two are for the pantry you have a nice big island we need some bar stools huge stove top which is like insanely exciting you have a bunch of knobs over here a nice sink uh, the washer and dryer are down there you have more storage up here going back into the hallway where CJ is and also you guys we already found like eight spiders in this place daddy long legs are here in England like crazy yeah, it's, yeah, we really have to disinfect and clean the house and then repaint. But um, yeah, this is a half bath downstairs, back in the hallway, living room. It has wallpaper. It's like a gray, like a slate gray and blue flower. And then a fireplace, a fake fireplace pretty much. So this is what you have over here. Living room, the TV will go diagonal, catty corner right there. And then you have the conservatory, which is gonna be like my favorite place. Um, over here is the formal dining room. But yeah, you guys can see that, look at these walls. You can't see it on, but they have like lots of scuffs here, a big scuff there. CJ was saying in Japan, they're like a lot more sticklers than they are here because like there's whole paint chips on the wall. So yeah, that is the first floor. Going up the stairs, you can see the floorboards, but you can see how much it's chipped on this. Yeah, so I don't know how the other people got back the full deposit because look at all the scuffs on the floorboard and all right here. I'm gonna repaint this all myself and that'll give it like an instant upgrade. This is the landing to the second floor. Over here is going to be our guest room. It's pretty big. We have a king bed that has to go in here and then this wardrobe is in here as well. So that's one. See, look at the door. Like why? Why wasn't any of this fixed? Um, yeah. Sorry you guys, it's just really disappointing. We waited so long to get in here and now I'm just seeing all this stuff. All the discolorations on the walls. Uh, this will be Mariah's room. Once I get that white paint, I'm going to go ahead and repaint all of these. Glaze them up really nicely. And we're going to decorate her room really cute. So yes, this is her room. And yeah, I'm going to paint all the ends of these. And I'm going to repaint all the floorboards. As you can see, they're like coming out of the wall. Yeah, we need a lot of magic erasers and a little gallon of white paint over here this will be my makeup room it's like a light mint blue this room's not that bad as you can see there's just freaking spiders hanging out in it it's a little chandelier like this we have a hall closet right here this is the guest bath with the bathtub and then you can see a paint chip right there but at least we have a good sized bath. More paint chips. 
Hopefully a magic eraser will get some of these out, but yeah, you guys, I totally plan on doing some upkeep with some paint because it's really gonna bother me living like this. And I think I really was just spoiled in Japan because we didn't have like anything like this, like everything was perfect and my OCD is like going crazy. Anyways, this is the master. We have one closet, one built-in closet, which is actually fairly good space. We have to be really strategic on how we put our clothes in there because we really have to downsize for this place. We plan on putting the bed right here, the nightstand's right there, and that is just our window. And then my area will be right here. And then I don't even know what this space was for. I have no idea what that is. Another daddy long leg. <laughs> and then a, another full bath right here with a pretty spacious shower. So yeah, I'm sorry I sound negative and that's just because like when you pay, sorry, when you pay like $2,000 or more, which is what we did to move into this place and all the upkeeps and the painting and everything that was going to be fixed, and only like one thing is painted and everything else is just left like I'm annoyed right now I really am so yeah we're gonna finish like checking the house for any damages so we aren't liable when we move out and yeah that's it you guys it needs a whole deep clean and a repainting but I'm excited we have a place it's just now the real work starts you know what I'm saying you guys, it's currently the next day. Sorry, I have to turn it down. I'm just gonna apologize for my attitude yesterday because I was, I was really salty about the house not being in like the best condition. But that's just because like we paid thousands of dollars and I'm kind of like OCD about like scuff marks and stuff like that. Like I just don't want anything there. So, um, yeah, it's the next day, it's Saturday morning, and we are actually heading to New Market to do a little bit of shopping. Um, like I said, I'm gonna get like a gallon of off-white glossy paint, so I can redo like the rails and everything, and we're gonna get some paint brushes. CJ wants to pick up like a hose. We're gonna go to a Tesco and get Mariah some baby food. We might go to TK Maxx. Um, I have a hair appointment at 1.30, it's 10 o'clock now. So we kind of have time to like meander and shop for our house. Then after my hair appointment, we're gonna go and buy some cleaning supplies and then we are going back to the house. So yeah, it should be a full day of vlogging. I will keep you guys updated. So it's the next day and yesterday went well. You guys can probably maybe see the different dimension in my hair. Basically, I just box dyed my hair like three weeks ago. I actually have a video on um, Instagram about it, but because I just dyed it and I only wash my hair like once a week, um, what she was planning didn't take as well because the red is so dominant in my hair. So yeah, we just added a little bit of like brown. So my hair is actually almost like rose gold and more on the brown side than on the red side now. But today is Father's Day. <laughs> um, we actually have a super busy day today because we move in tomorrow and so yesterday we went to the paint store and we got like a piece of paper that had all, all these different shades of white so we went back and compared them to the floorboards and everything in the house that we're going to repaint so we know what shade to get now we're going to go to CJ's favorite well our favorite turkey spot for lunch turkey spot Turkish Turkish <laughs> turkey spot yeah Turkish food for lunch and we're gonna go to like TK Maxx, we need to go to HomeSense, we need to go to Home Base. And yeah, just a bunch of my favorite things today. So it should be fun and hopefully I can vlog more than I did yesterday. Yesterday was just busy and it was super hot. Today I think we're a little more organized, but still busy nonetheless. Okay you guys, so the first time we came in here, I was really pissed, remember that? Because like it didn't smell good. There was spiders everywhere, there were scuffs everywhere, the house wasn't repainted like they said they were going to, only one panel was. But yesterday, CJ and I went to work. I'll show you what we did. CJ went around and killed 
every spider <laughs> that was downstairs and I made some progress in the kitchen. So here's the kitchen, but I actually cleaned everything. We went to the commissary yesterday and I actually cleaned every surface and then I cleaned in every cabinet and I cleaned the sink. We got out those spiders. I picked up this guy from TK Maxx yesterday. Um, as you can see, like in that corner, it's kind of rising above, so they actually took out um, additional money for me, so I paid like 17 pounds for that. But I'm thinking that can go on the formal dining room table. But yeah, cleaned all these counters, so now the inside smells like lemon. And then when I was whining about um, like all the borders for the doors and stuff, I actually like with the same rag when I was done cleaning the counters and the shelves, I just took the um, what was left on the rag, like the paper towel, and I did all the borders of the walls. And as you can see, now they look really clean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, my new glasses. It is an emergency, those are brand new. Get down. We left with um, the fan on, and then now it smells like lemon in here. We cleared out the majority of the spiders. So now it is feeling pretty promising. But yeah, what was bugging me so much is like, when we left Japan, like I told you about the bad story that we had, but the house had to be absolutely spotless. Like any scratches on the walls at all and you were getting, like you were getting like penalized and you had to pay a fee. But I guess out here they're a lot more like lenient with like the wall condition and stuff. But what got me is like, I could just run the wet paper towel over the door border and it would come off. Like, why didn't the people who cleaned the house or the people who lived in the house just like take some time to wipe down the stuff if it was dirty, you know? Anyway, so I'm feeling a lot better today. The house is really open, it smells better. I don't see spiders everywhere that I look. Um, we found this U Pressure Fit Quick Close Baby Gate. We're gonna put it on the bottom of the stairs and the top. We found it at TK Maxx for like 13 pounds, which is like $15. So it looks like that. And yeah, hopefully we can find another one because we saved some money finding this one when we did. So that's what we're doing right now. I have some other stuff to bring in from the car. But oh yeah, babe, your sunglasses are over here. We, I Windexed all these yesterday. Um, I got around that door, but I didn't get everywhere else, and CJ, like, magic erased this wall right here, so it looks a lot better as well. Yeah, we still have some work to do. There's, like, a bunch of scuffs up there that I don't even know how they got there. But, um, I don't know if I showed you guys the conservatory. This is it. It's mucho grande, and we have it closed off right now because it actually gets like really hot in there and you know, probably like tomorrow when the movers come, I'm gonna open it up so we can get some wind all the way through. It's like, England is like infested with spiders. I've never seen more spiders in my entire life than I have in like the three months that we're here. So I need to find some like peppermint oil and we're gonna put it in like a spray bottle with water and spray around all the windows because I heard that really helps <laughs> keep the spiders out. So yeah, we're feeling a lot better about this place. It's starting to feel like home. It smells good, it's clean. It's going good. Are you eating your banana like a good girl? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I like how you started eating it in the kitchen and you moved to the hallway though. <gasps> you look so pretty with your bandana. Yes you do. Good girl. So I just finished my makeup and so far I really love it. It looks absolutely flawless. I did set my face with a little bit of Fix Plus, but my skin looks great in my opinion.